We have had our first caution here at the Visit Hampton 150. We're ready to go green and we'll watch James Savali, who fittingly next to Langley here, he's got a jet engine going here tonight. And he took the outside lane on this restart. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out on the map going into one. Tim Brown on the inside and Savali takes that spot right away and then gets quick separation coming out of turn two. Now W making a move on the outside of Tim Brown. He, he was fourth, so this is already a battle for second. And then eventually here, we're going to see the, from first, third, and fourth, these guys are in a heck of a points battle. So, you know, they're not going to get too crazy here, but uh, this is going to be a heck of a duel all night long for these three guys. Zach Brewer, despite all that damage, is up and running, as is Frank Fleming. They were involved in the accident down below us, so they're out there turning laps now, but everyone's chasing the 79 of James Savali. But we do know L.W. Miller has what it takes to challenge for the lead, and Andy Sice, who led wire to wire last week at Caraway. And, and, you know, Andy was the quickest in practice. Both practice sessions they had this afternoon, Andy Sice was, was the quickest car. So I'm, I'm feeling that this guy here, after winning last week at Caraway, this guy here is uh, setting the tempo here that he feels like he has a good car to challenge. the field and you saw the 44 Brandon Heyer who qualified well but in post qualifying inspection they found an improper adjustment so he was pushed to the back of the field at the start of this race we'll keep an eye on the 44 and see if he's able to move up and through the field right now showing number nine now we see LW starting to separate himself from the O2 of Tim Brown and Andy Sykes starting to put pressure back on Tim Brown for third racing right there. Doza and Heyer side by side as they go into turn number one. Fleming and Brewer next to each other. They got tangled up just a short time ago, so a tight bunch there as they head towards four. And this is what I was saying earlier in the open. I love this race track. You see this right here. Two wide racing and, and plenty of room. So when you get to a track like this that's not got a lot of banking, sweeping corners, you're going to see side by side racing all night long. And you will see a group start to develop on the outside that you can use to your advantage and, and move through the field. So the battle for position continues well behind James Savali. You see Gene Pack in that mix just in front of Hire and Brewer and Doza. John Smith just a ticket head as well. Smith has been a guy who's been pretty consistent all year long, winning at Caraway back in July. He's one we'll have to keep an eye on to see if he's able to move through the field. There he is in the 25 trying to keep up with Jason Myers. We saw him have a good run at uh, Bowman Gray. We saw him have a good run last week. So he has really seemed to come along here in the summer months and uh, no different tonight. Got his car handling really well, stuck to the bottom. John Smith in the top three and three of the last four races, a first and two thirds. You see the vitals for John Smith from Mount Airy, North Carolina. Tim Brown holding his own here in third, but uh, you know, the both Myers cars fell back, uh, you know, not fourth, but they're running fourth and fifth. I'm sorry, fifth and sixth right now. And uh, these guys, I, I would have thought a little bit more out of them knowing that uh, they like this type of, of racetrack, this uh, small four tenths of a mile where Haley becomes a premium. See Tim Brown working the 44. There's John Smith and higher. And looking for Andy Sice now, seeing if he can get around the 02. Tim Brown. Oh, he's, Tim uh, Brown. He's holding his own. Your neck course not far from here. He's hometown here in Virginia, so you know, Tim's got a lot of pressure on him tonight to have a good showing for his owners. And uh, he's not had the best of luck this year, but uh, running pretty strong here. Solely in third position right now. Brown coming off a 14th place finish at Caraway last time out. Well, we see the 44 car here make a great move higher. He moved into fifth spot now, working that outside groove. So all at once, it seems like higher started in the rear of the field, like you said, made a, an adjustment or, uh, post pre-race and had to go to the rear. So worked his way to the top five right now. Yeah, he shot way up there. Good call, Jimmy and Brandon Higher. Running strong. Well, now, now we're there seeing Sice. Look at how close these times are. Tim Brown at 1851 and Andy Sice at 1850. So we know these cars are pretty close. So either one slips, the other one's going to get away from them. Sice again took a look inside of Brown. Nothing there. So Brown doing well. 
to keep Andy Sice the winner last time out at Caraway and more for the man who's now in second in the points with Kelly. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy, I know you keep talking about how much you love this track, and I got to tell you, not all these guys share that sentiment, but one guy who does is Andy Sice. He said it's his first time here, but he really likes it because his input has a lot to do with it. He said it's very challenging, which makes it even more inside of the O2 and this time he has held on it would appear to take over third place and now he'll look after L.W. Miller in second place. And what we saw there Eric was Tim Brown bobbled a little bit off of two. Sykes popped that thing down to the bottom. That's the thing about a modified. You can really negotiate. Now all at once we're starting to see Andy putting a ton of pressure on L.W. Well we've been impressed by Andy Sykes the 23 year old already with eight career wins on the NASCAR wheel and Southern Modified Tour. A guy who's taken some class work at a technical college up in his home state of New Hampshire, who's trying to learn a little bit more about the sport and everything behind it. He's a boat mechanic during the week when he's not driving down here every week, it seems. That's me. a weird position. You, boat mechanic and then a race well, car. Like up in New Hampshire, there's yeah. water up there. You come down here to the Tidewater area, this feels like home for Andy Sykes, who's in third place right well, now. I'm used to, to, to boats being 14 to 16 foot, so I'm thinking Andy's more like 60 foot boats. <laughs> so, but Andy, well, we, get, Andy's, we got naval bases all over the place <laughs> here in the Hampton. You can go check out some of those aircraft. We should go. We should go with this guy, maybe. This is good to know. But right now, what's interesting to me, we're seeing first, second, and third. We're seeing Savali, Miller, and Sice. And these three guys are one, two, three. They're also one, two, three in the point. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, with 34 laps completed and uh, about 115 to go. Savali, third in the points, is leading the race. Miller, first in the points, is second. Sice is in third. They're battling here at Langley in Virginia.